it's estimated that you could have diabetes for even seven to 10 years prior to the actual diagnosis. May be startling, but it's true. A growing number of Americans have developed diabetes without even knowing it. So often patients may come into the hospital with, let's say, a, a heart attack, and while they're at the hospital, they're told they have new onset diabetes. Type 2 diabetes doesn't come on like a lightning bolt, but rumbles quietly for years, which is why it's important to recognize the warning signs. Attention getters are decreased energy, weight gain, increased appetite, and craving for carbohydrates. Those should be a signal to consult your doctor and ask for a screening. The most accurate way is just to do a simple fasting blood test where they take blood out of the vein. They can also take a, uh, a finger stick so they can take some blood out of the finger. Not that invasive. Uh, it's not really a difficult test to do on anyone. An ideal fasting glucose level is less than 95. Numbers consistently over 100 may indicate prediabetes or diabetes. You should also track your cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Elevated numbers can be an indicator for type 2 diabetes. While it's sometimes called adult onset diabetes, children are getting it too. They get closer to the adolescent years and certainly with kids that are having weight problems, they should be screened. A diabetes screening can make a vast difference in your health. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.